The mm -hmm. Pilot Metropolitan is one of the most popular entry-level fountain pens, and it has been for years. It's affordable, it's well-made, and provides you with a great writing experience. However, Pilot has a couple others that are more affordable and provide nearly identical writing experiences. So, why is the Metro more popular? Should it be? When I began working on this video, I was firmly believing that the Pilot Metropolitan is indeed overrated. You'll soon find out though, where I ended up. Because right now, I'm going to break down and compare the features, the faults, the pitfalls, and the possibilities of Pilot's Metropolitan, Kakuno, and Explorer. Taking several criteria into account, I'll be scoring each model's performance within these categories using my own highly complex system. Mm -hmm. Our first category of competition is going to be nib performance. And I'll tell you why. They're all the same. Yes, while the weight and feel of these pens will provide you with variations in your overall experience, the meat and potatoes of your overall writing performance will be the same across all three of these pens. So as we go forward to discuss their respective differences, you can keep in mind that the nibs and feeds are identical apart from aesthetics. The nibs themselves are all easy to remove, easy to clean, equally easy to reinstall, and they all put down ink with consistency and reliability. So all three pens earn points in this category. Two poodles each. Let's move on to price. All three of these pens are in solid first fountain pen territory, but none more so than the Kakuno, which is currently just $14.30. Next up is the Explorer, which sells for $25, while the Metro is just 43 cents more. So essentially, the Explorer and the Metropolitan are the same price, given that their uh, price differential isn't even useful in a grocery store claw machine these days. So, Regardless, the Kakuno is the clear winner here, being significantly more affordable. Thus, the Kakuno earns two backpacks and a cactus. Color variety within these three models gets pretty interesting because there are sort of sub-collections within each one. Starting with the Kakuno, you've got grays with bright colored caps. You've got whites with pastel caps, and then you've got six transparent colors. Pretty decent assortment here. The Kakuno color selection definitely reflects its focus on uh, Pilot presenting this pen as an ideal first-timer's pen. The Metropolitan features three collections. Their standard line consists of black, silver, and gold pens with either a plain uh, band in the center of the barrel here or ones with some understated pattern. The Metro's Animal line features a violet, a bronze, a white, in addition to another black and another silver, but these have a band with some sort of animal-themed print of some kind, like tiger stripes or leopard spots. The Metropolitan also comes in retro pop colors, like turquoise gray, green, red, and orange, all featuring more fun patterns on that same center band. And finally, while the Explorer doesn't really differentiate between color collections like the other two, the pen first launched with all of these bright colors and then came out in six more. So the Explorer has pretty much the same colors as the Metropolitans, but none of those wild patterns. What it does have though, is a glossy white, a matte black, and a clear demonstrator. The white is a different texture and finish than the rest of the pens. Obviously the matte black pen is totally different as well. You top that with the clear demo, and I think that the Explorer delivers a greater variety in color options than the Kakuno. Those three unique materials that I mentioned give it the edge over the Metropolitan as well. So, three waffles and a bikini go to the Pilot Explorer. And now I'm going to give the Explorer the boot because as far as nib selection goes, which is our current topic, the it's it's going to be between the Kakuno and the Metropolitan. You can get the Kakuno in an extra fine, a fine, or a medium. You can get the Metropolitan in a fine, medium, or 1.0 stub. So yes, these two models have three sizes each, with the Kakuno claiming possession of the extra fine and the Metropolitan laying claim to the stub. So maybe it's a tie? Nah, -uh. the Kakuno has a secret weapon when it comes to choosing their nibs. 
depending on the color of pen that you choose, you're also selecting one of eight different nib faces, literal faces. Yes, they've got smiley faces, winky faces, neckties, necklaces, pacifiers, and more. Even though they all have the same tipping selection, nib size selection as the Metropolitan, the faces deliver another layer of nib selection. But wait, the downside is that each color of the Kakuno has its own limited nib size options. The translucents are available in fine and medium, but the grays are limited to medium only, and the whites are only available in fine. And if you want an extra fine nib, you have to buy the clear demonstrator version, and this is the only nib you can get on it. With the Metropolitans, you can get just about any color in fine, medium, or stub. So while I do like the fun faces, the actual nib selection is best on the Metro. So let's give the Metro two custards, no, one custard, two surfers. Yeah. Let's now talk about the overall feel and function of these pens, including the clip. We don't need to talk about the clip on the Kakuno because it's just not there. What you do have is a little sort of bumpy nugget there to act as a roll stop. So that's something. Overall though, the Kakuno feels good. The plastic feels sturdy for a $14 pen and isn't brittle or anything. So it's not trying to win any aesthetic awards. So we'll just let it sit out of this round. The real battle here is between the Metropolitan and the Explorer. Both pens have nicely functional metal clips and both pens have very similar plastic grip sections. Both pens have pretty solid snap caps, but the big difference here is that the Explorer is made from light, lightweight plastic and the Metro is made from brass. Both pens are free from any loose fittings. No, nothing feels loose, nothing moves that shouldn't move. Everything is well put together and tight. Many people do feel that the Metro feels higher quality in the hand compared to the sort of cheap plasticky feel of the Explorer. And I get that. But as far as build quality goes, the Explorer isn't failing at anything here just because people tend to equate weight to quality. However, as far as fit and finish goes, to avoid calling this a tie, I will say that the inner cap uh, of the Metro extends all the way down, whereas the Explorers does not, allowing a sort of awkward transition uh, to be exposed. Not a big deal at all, but it'll be enough to award the Metropolitan um, the victory here, uh, a pair of pants and a ghost. I'll also award the Kakuno one airplane seat for durability though. The Explorer and the Metro are both coated in their respective colors for the most part, so scratches might expose the base material. The Kakuno isn't coated in any way, so it'll hide those dings and scrapes a wee bit better. As far as filling options go, each of these pens can take a Pilot Ink cartridge, as well as a Con B and Con 40 cartridge converter. Two of them can also accept the considerably larger Con 70 converter, those being the Explorer and the Kakuno. None of these pens can be barrel filled, so I can't find any additional leverage to uh, award a decisive victory here. So, to that end, the Kakuno and the Explorer will have to share this dodo bird. Our final category is going to be value. When you actually get a Kakuno for $14.30, you get this. Simple, no frills, plastic packaging. The Kakuno knows exactly what it's trying to be, a beginner's pen. It's hard to deny that it's not succeeding here. You get the pen, you get a Pilot ink cartridge. A great compact little gift for anyone looking to try a fountain pen for the first time at an incredibly accessible price. Up at $25, the Explorer comes in a much more elaborate package featuring an outer sleeve and then a display tin with a clear plastic window. Inside, the pen is firmly held in foam along with a cartridge. However, the Unlike the Kakuno, the Explorer comes with a Con B squeeze converter. This is a big deal, immediately giving you or a gift recipient access to use bottled ink. Adding the cost of this converter to the Kakuno brings it up to $21.85. Still more affordable than the Explorer here, but you do have a lot more going on in terms of color, build detail, and then of course the packaging, so it makes sense. The Metropolitan is just a tiny bit more expensive than the Explorer at $25.43, and you get everything that the Explorer has, the packaging, the Conbee converter. Um, so the question is, 
whether or not the coated brass with the decorative center band provides you with more bang for your buck than the colored plastic of the Explorer. There's definitely some manufacturing work to fit that trim on there, but the Explorer has more cuts and more fittings, more detail overall, and the coating on the black matte and the glossy white versions, the polishing that needs to be done to that clear demonstrator, those more unique versions of the Explorer seem to be, or seem to make it more competitive, you know, in terms of value. Even though it doesn't come with a converter, I can't see the Kakuno not winning in the value game. It's just a hair over $14 and still delivers the goods. With the money you save, you can buy some syringes to refill that ink cartridge, which one could say is better than using the Con B anyway. So the Kakuno wins the prize here, and its prize is a pretzel and its very own ninja. It's time to tally up the scores. The Metropolitan comes through with two poodles, one custard, two surfers, a pair of pants, and a ghost. Not bad at all. The Explorer, however, gets those two poodles in addition to three waffles, one bikini, and half of a dodo bird that it's sharing with the Kakuno. And finally, the Kakuno finishes things out with two poodles, two backpacks, one cactus, half a dodo, a pretzel, and a ninja. So, do I think that the Metropolitan is overrated still? No. No, I don't think I do. I spent a lot of time with these pens recently, and while I personally do prefer the Explorer to the Metro, I think they're about even overall. It really just depends on what sort of style speaks to you, since they both have a very different look and feel. The Kakuno, though, the more time I spend with this pen, the more I love it. As someone who does this for a living, an excellent quality fountain pen that's less than $15 that I can be confident will be a you know, reliable ambassador of this hobby to any new user, that's, that's a beautiful thing. And I encourage you to consider the Kakuno for anyone you think might want to just try a fountain pen. You really can't go wrong with this one. And the Metropolitan and the Explorer are even better in some ways. Okay. In spite of the completely unhelpful scoring system, I hope this was a little helpful, and I appreciate you choosing to spend some time with me today. Links for all of these pens are located in the description below if you'd like to pick one up. So have fun, and ride on.